so instead of focusing on nation building, counterinsurgency, and lots of the things we've been doing lately, our situation calls for a return to a grand strategy that some of us have termed offshore balancing. Um, let me just briefly summarize that, and then I will stop. Um, it assumes that American interests are best preserved by preserving our hegemony <coughs> in the Western Hemisphere, no rival great powers here, but then by maintaining favorable balances of power in the key centers of power in Asia plus, and Europe plus the Persian Gulf. That doesn't mean we have to control those areas, we just have to make sure they're not controlled by any powers that are hostile to us. So our first recourse is to have favorable balances relying primarily on regional allies to uphold the balance of power in their regions out of their own self-interest. <coughs> We intervene with our military forces, especially ground and air forces, only when the balance of power breaks down in some fundamental way. <coughs> How much effort we make depends, obviously, on the magnitude of the threat in each of those particular